All right, so I'm right here by my uh, floor loom and I wanted to go ahead and talk about what selvages are and how sometimes in a pattern, especially on an overshot or a twill, it will recommend that you have a floating selvage. And that's gonna be this end string on either end that's going to allow you to decide when you catch it. It will not be attached to a heddle. It will be free floating. So you can push down or lift it up as needed, depending on where you are in the pattern to make sure you always have these nice clean edges and you don't have any issues with the string getting pulled in. And I can kind of give you an example of that by if we look a little bit closer here, you can see right here along this edge, if I did not have this selvage line right here, this would not catch a string and it would miss about three strings and pull in. So you would have a group of strings right here that just were not part of the weave and they would be blank, which would cause a lot of sinking on the end. And I will kind of show you them in action. So this right here is the floating sel or selvage. We have one on both sides. Everything else goes up or down except for this one string, which is on either side. And okay. And now as I'm making this path, I went under the selvage last time. So I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna pull this one up. So I go under it, pull through, beat, go to the next one, and now I push it down and pull this one up, go through, and this way, no matter how the pattern goes, I'm always catching that last thread on both sides and I'm not losing any of my thread so my sides won't be empty because then you'll have no string on your edges and that would be absolutely awful and then again push this one down pull this one up and i pass through and so you could see right here if i didn't have that i would totally miss this thread oh let me get you a better view so yeah if i didn't have this salvage right here i would miss this thread and it would go completely under. And that would happen quite often. So if I did that every time that happened in this pattern, I would have huge chunks that would have no thread and you would just have like two, three threads that often were not at all covered and it would ruin the pattern. It would make your cloth a lot less stable and all in all, it's something you don't want, but very simple. Just put an extra thread on each side that's not attached to a heddle, and you just move them up and down as you push your shuttle boat through. And that is what you do for a floating shelf or floating shelfage. So that is how the floating selvage works. If you like this content, remember like, subscribe. We have new videos that drop every Tuesday at two o'clock and every other Thursday. So keep an eye out.